deadlift day. Today I did FDLs instead of deadlifts, like I said on the deload video. It went really well. Mm, top set was 107 kg. I did eight reps. I stopped at eight because of uh, because of the grip. Even with the straps, I couldn't I couldn't hold it. Now the barbells on this gym are worst uh, I have ever seen. They are very thick, like 35, uh, 36 millimeters, and there is no knurling. It looks like there is, but if you touch the knurling and the smooth, it's the same. There are two barbells, Olympic barbells, and of course everyone wants to use it. So they are always taken. You have to use the the bad ones. There are like 50 bad ones and the two Olympic bars. Sometimes when I use it, sometimes when I use the Olympic barbell, it everything feels easier. And every lift, squat, deadlift, bench, even bench, we would say that you have more range of, range of motion, but it's not the true. The bench feels much easier. I think it is because of that you can grip it, you know, you can hold the bar in your hand much better and everything feels easier. No, 35 or 36 millimeters, you cannot hold it. You cannot, you know, wrap your fingers around it. You see the top set, it looks very easy. I stopped uh, because of the grip. You know, I could do the eight reps with 120, 130 kilo even. Very easy. I'm happy because the RDL strength uh, increased. I didn't do RDL for a few months. The lower back it's not rounding. Uh, I didn't even feel any anything on my lower back. You know, it wasn't tired after the RDLs, so so it's good. My ass and my hamstring was working, and you know the RDLs, they feel good. And the stretch on the hamstring, the on the ass, your lower upper back working, your abs working, very good. The back of set, I did. Uh, like usually six by three, six set of three, and they were very easy. Even later, I did four reps. And my phone didn't record it because I did it in one take without resting. I was resting like one minute tops between the sets, and my phone cannot record more than eight minutes. I think in four, in eight K for some reason. So it stopped there. I didn't know about it. But you no, know, you can see that the force is very easy. Very easy weight. I put my max as 140. And it's too low. You know, I, maybe 160 would be fine. But it's okay. You know. Sometimes it's better to do the movement, just you know, not always grind it out. After this, I did Bulgarian split squat, uh, deficit, and on this on this footage you can see how how long my legs are. They are longer than my torso. I always stand on the so frog stands or the camera angle is different. Now we can see from the side how long my legs are. And for people with long legs, the split squats are great. You know, we feel their legs working. And it's pretty athletic movement also. You have to have good internal internal rotation for this. Uh, the hip health. It's much better when you're doing uh, doing this the split squats. It's like it's even better than the OHP for upper body. Everyone says that do the OHP and your shoulders will be healthy, and is that true? But when you don't do the split squat or something like this, your hips uh, will get you know worn out pretty quickly this prevents it this completely prevents it you feel the legs working now the front of the leg the back of the leg everything is working i did it today from the different box it was too high of the box you can see it's height of my shin so a little bit too much i have to go 
too far back to hit the depth. Not ideal position, but the box I using I'm always using is was taken, so whatever. And also it, this one is made from the slippery material, as you can see, it's shiny. So my leg was also also sleep sleeping all the time. I don't know, maybe it's because of the footage, but as you can see, when I'm doing the right leg, it goes deep and below parallel. But the left leg doesn't doesn't look like this. It looks like it's above parallel, but I, but I don't know why. It also looks like I'm, the knee travel is less on the left foot, but it's supposed to help the depth. I don't know why. Maybe because of the camera angle. I think so. And uh, after the split squat, I did four sets of the split squats. Great exercise. And after this, I did three sets, uh, super set reverse curls with up work, back supported up work. Instead of the hanging leg raises, I do on the other day, on the squat day. Now I do back supported leg raises and it's different feeling. It's easier because you can do more reps. At least I can do more reps on this one, on the back supported. But the feeling in the abs, it's something different. It's much better than the hanging version. And the reverse curls, it's diff you know, strange for me, but because the reverse curls are stronger than the normal curls for me, for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. The biceps looks bigger than the forearms, but it's not the case for some reason. I do, on the squad day, I do normal curls with 35 kilo, nine reps, I think it's, and it's very hard, very hard. And today I did reverse curls, 35 kilo, eight reps, but it was very easy. I could do set of 10. So that was strange. And that was the deadlift day. And tomorrow is OHP day.